This is a Dyson V6 vacuum cleaner and in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on one. Let's get to it! So as well as the vacuum cleaner itself we need two other things for this job. One, a screwdriver, in this case a crosshead, this is a Phillips size one, and secondly a new battery to install. I bought this from Amazon, I will put a link in the description below. It's a simple process that involves removing the waste bin down here and then using the screwdriver to remove two screws to remove the battery. My advice would be to start with your waste bin completely empty because we're going to need to remove it completely from the machine. So let me show you that step now. As you will know from using your own machine that if you press this red piece here, you will discharge the lid from the bin. If you then press it again, what that does is it releases the bin from the machine and you can separate it like this by just pulling forward. And that's important because we need to get to this screw that's at the front here. So with that waste bin removed then, it's just a case of using our screwdriver and taking uh, these screws out. This one seems to hang in there a bit. There we go. And then once you've done that one, we then turn the machine over and we should be able to access this one here. And then once those two screws are out, it is then just a case of grabbing the machine here and pulling like that. And then our battery is separated. A key part of this process is making sure you get the correct replacement battery and the best way I found for doing that is to look up this code, in my case that says SVO5, I put that into Amazon and this battery arrived. Sold uh, through there by a company called More Pilot. they seem to have lots of good reviews, um, but there is a lot of other brands on the site. Inside the package then, as well as the battery, you get two additional filters that go in the top of the machine and a set of screws for installing that, um, installing the battery. There's the screws and here's the battery. Um, looks uh, identical shape and size, um, but obviously slightly different color for the plastic. Let's go to installation. So installation of this is gonna be exactly the same as removing it, just a case of sliding the battery in here. Gonna check that it works, all fine, and then I'm going to reuse the existing screws more for ease. So just going to pop this one in here. And then turning, up, oops, turning over and putting the second screw in the back here. The battery now installed and everything working, it's just a case now of putting our dust uh, collector bin back in. So if you put it in at this at an angle and it just sort of line it all up. And it's a little bit fiddly, there we go. And then it clicks in. And then just to test that the bin release mechanism is working or the bin lid mechanism is working, that's all good. So we are all back together. And working fine. The last job to do, which is optional, is to take advantage of this filter that's come in with the battery and replace the original one. That is just a case of pulling that one up and out like that and taking this old one out of the bag, sorry, new one out of the bag and just popping it in like that. And there we go. That is a new battery and a new filter in a Dyson V6 cordless vacuum cleaner. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. I found that useful. If you have, let me know, send me a comment, send me a like, and I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.